Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Sam Crack and we have a lot to do in a little amount of time. We're less than 24 hours away from the Florida State Rebuild Inspection on the Domino's DXP car. And that means we've got to button up what you don't see right here. Obviously you can see it's missing the rear tail light, the rear bumper needs to be put back on. In the front there's just a few fasteners I'm going to throw on and uh, one of the wheel liners needs to be replaced because it was damaged in the accident. And then after that I've got a few awesome mods and accessories we're going to put on this car stuff that's easily reversible as we definitely want to keep it as original as possible and then we've got to take it on a road test as I've only put like two miles on this car driving it in circles around here so let's jump right into it and finish this car up Now before I go ahead and reinstall that rear bumper, there's a big reason I've been leaving it off and a lot of you have figured it out. We are going to be putting on a set of train horns or air horns. I can't wait for this one. Now if the graphics on this car weren't loud enough already, the guys over at banggood.com thought it would be a good idea to send me this air horn kit. That should be a lot of fun. Now all we have to do is run this airline into the cabin where there's a compressor. We're gonna bolt these horns right to the rear bumper support here where there's already existing holes from the factory so we're not gonna be modifying anything heavily. And then just run a few power and ground wires to it. The link to this air horn kit I'm gonna put in the description box below as well as everything else you're gonna see in this video. Of course, when the guys at banggood.com hook me up, they hook you guys up too. They've sent me five of these diagnostic scanners. They're really inexpensive, but very powerful. You hook these up to the OBD port in your car and you can use an app on your phone like Torque to control this, read all sorts of live vehicle data and even read and clear your check engine codes. Five of these to you guys at home just read the instructions in the description box i think it'll be something like like comment subscribe notifications you know what the deal is that mounted up really quick and while my wires look like a mess i'm going to show you exactly what i got here we have uh one wire running power to the switch, the other one is running directly to the solenoid on the horn. So when we press this button, listen for the click. Can you hear that? That click is opening up the solenoid to the horn. So the horn is good to go. All we need to do is get this air source full of air. And that's where this airline is. That's running to the compressor, which is behind the driver's seat here. We're gonna tap into some power lines on the uh, B column here and then everything should be fully functional. All right, the compressor is uh, its pretty much full at this point. And I can stop yelling. I got the button right here in my hands. Three, two, one. I can't wait to hear what this sounds like. Oh my God. <laughs> wow, for how small that horn is, I'm surprised how loud it is. Of course you could get bigger horns, louder horns, more expensive horns. But for this car, I think that will do. Thanks a lot, Banggood.com. I like that one. If you remember correctly, when I first got the bumper, it had a few paint scratches on the rear, likely from transport or maybe from the forklift at the auction. And look at it now. It's absolutely perfect. It looks like it was professionally done. And would you believe it if I told you that I did this all with rattle cans? So as you can see there, we've used three cans of Duplicolor Perfect Match, a can of primer, and a chicken. 
and so far it's come out really well. I'm honestly very surprised how clean the Duplicolor laid down. Uh, obviously, you know, sanding the primer I think was pretty uh, key in this, but now is for this stuff right here. This is the real deal clear coat. If you're gonna be using a spray can, you wanna try and find this. I bought this at a specialty uh, automotive paint store. They sell it on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description box below, but this it has a hardener in it like they use at the regular body shops, meaning that your finish is going to have a nice shell over it and it's gonna give you a really good gloss. The Duplicolor stuff that they sell like this, that's clear coat, I don't recommend it. I tried it out just on the touch-up job and it hardly looked like there was any clear coat. So let's go ahead, let's spray this clear coat and let's see what the finished product looks like. I'm pretty optimistic here. Gonna do a little plan switch up here. I'm gonna take this for its test ride right now because I have to meet someone real quick and uh, that'll be a good opportunity and when we come back we can finish it up. You can see I've taken this apart in here. We'll talk about that in a moment. All right, no problem lights but the uh, air pressure and the uh, tires which shouldn't be that big of a deal. All right, so uh, we've gone about two miles and everything seems to be working decently. One of the things about this car is Take a look right here. Do you guys see a coolant temperature gauge anywhere? I sure don't. And that's one of the things I really like to monitor when I'm first driving these cars, make sure nothing is overheating. So far, this is kind of like a first drive for me, even though we got to drive it just around a little bit. I've gotten it uh, you know, up to speed and uh, felt what this car is like. And honestly, it's like a rental car that has been modified to the point where there's extra noises, there's extra wind noise you can hear because of this door in the back, I'm sure. And uh, the CVT transmission, my God, what a terrible transmission for all you guys out there with Nissans and uh, Chevy Sparks and stuff like this that has a CVT, I feel bad for you. You know, the point of the CVT, I guess, was You hear the noises when you go over the train track. I guess it was really to get better fuel efficiency for smaller, more efficient motors like this, what is it, like 80 horsepower engine. And uh, honestly, it feels like it's constantly shifting. When you give it a little bit of gas, it feels like an old school transmission that's hunting for a gear all day long. Frankly, it's not for me, but it's not really about that in this car, is it? If you saw my video on the Yukon, I briefly went over this at one point, but I've disassembled the uh, trim here on the radio because the blend door gear, one of the plastic gears that controls the airflow into the car, completely fell off when I turned the AC on for the first time. Also check this out. Whenever I try and turn this to cold, it bounces back. This is one of the first AC controllers I've seen uh, pretty much ever because most of the cars I work on are a little bit higher tech than this it actually is controlled by like metal rods and it's not controlled electrically so this metal rod I don't know if it's due to the accident due to the airbag down here uh, blowing out but basically uh, it's either bent or there's something wrong with it so I'm either gonna replace it or figure out what the issue is geez you're how noisy this thing is while we're driving but Good news is nothing's uh, broken yet. So let's cross our fingers and, and hope this is a successful drive. All right, let's check it out before we shut it off. Everything, uh, no smoke, which is good. The level of the coolant is pretty darn good. Uh, I think we got a good car here, boys. All right, we got some gas. We can go wide open throttle in the DXP car. Here we go. Still didn't hit 60 miles an hour. <laughs> this is the slowest car I've ever driven. Is 
This is like the anti-car. It makes all the wrong noises. It accelerates really slow. But it still is really fun for some reason. It handles decent because it's so small. But uh, yeah, it's still showing 30.8 miles per gallon. Still no check engine lights or anything. We've gone almost 10 miles. By the time we get home, it'll be 10 miles. And that's a great test to make sure everything works well. Thumbs up. All right, so we've officially put a passenger seat in the DXP car and the interior is completely finished and buttoned up. So with that, let's put in a few other accessories that will make this the ultimate pizza delivery mobile. Now this might seem silly, and probably not much more silly than the air horn, but I've always wanted one of these. It's just a portable vacuum that plugs into your 12 volt in the car. Really easy, really convenient. The guys from Suoki sent me this one right here. Comes with a hose and extension to fit in the small cracks in between your seats. This is really awesome and it's like really inexpensive. Again, link is in the description box. Well, that's not all they sent me. So to go along with our warming oven, they sent an electric drink cooler. So this actually is not only a drink cooler, it's a drink heater as well. You put the drinks in here, or you could put, you know, something smaller. So I think that that will go well, and it fits really nice right in this corner right here. Z Edge sent me their S3 dual lens dash cam, and I think you guys know what that means. Basically, unlike your regular dash cam that comes with the one that you put in the windshield right here, that's what this is for. And it's pretty, you know, sleek and compact compared to a lot of other ones. It's got one for your rear window, so you're not capturing just from the front, but also in the case of a rear end collision, something like this. This is awesome. Now, it is a bit more involved of an install. It comes with one of these panel trim tools. My best guess is to pry down the headliner. Uh, in the DXP car, that wouldn't be too difficult, but you do have to run one of these wires all the way from the front connecting the cameras together of course to get power to it but for this car i'm going to choose the simpler option which is the z3 plus this is z edge's more basic dash camera and even though it's more basic it's got 2k resolution which is two times the amount of full hd the thing that i really like a lot of dash cameras don't give you this this comes with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Usually when I get a new dash camera, I have to go out and buy its own memory card. It comes with it. So I'm gonna get this hooked up really quick and then we'll be good to go. Now this is pretty cool. I didn't even think about this. If you got a newer car, you're able to hook this directly into the USB port. So you don't even have to take up the uh, power adapter here. You can use that for whatever else you're gonna charge. So even though the pizza car is really small, with all these extra accessories and the added seat, it's really become a very useful, almost utility vehicle. And last but not least, to keep that theme, the guys over at Audu sent me this. It's a 60,000 milliamp portable solar generator. Generator. What this is, is basically a huge battery block for you to use all of your accessories, whether it's USB or regular wall outlet. I know that looks funny or international. It does take a standard US wall outlet size. And this thing can be charged using a solar panel, which I think would fit up nicely here on the roof. Something we don't have yet, we might add in the future. Right now, let's just get it in for inspection. But this will come in handy, especially since I'm always charging my cell phones, my laptops, and the camera equipment. So thanks a lot over to the guys over at Audu for this portable solar generator. All right, we're good to go. Everything is assembled like you saw. I aired up the tires and I'm taking this car in right now for its state inspection. After today, we're gonna be hopeful that the pizza car will be road legal. Now be on the lookout for an upcoming video where I run you through absolutely everything that's required for a state rebuild inspection. Now, if you have any questions as always, be sure to email me at samcrackauto at gmail.com or write me on Instagram. Everything you need to find me is in the description box below. Guys, thanks a whole lot for watching and I will catch you very soon.